Hello guys and girls and welcome to a look at the E3 Astroneer 1.0 trailer with me Biffa. This just came out yesterday and we're just going to run through the trailer at the beginning and then we're going to go back through but all, not quite frame by frame, but enough so we can see all the new things that have been added. See if you can spot some of them now as we're going through the trailer. And oh my goodness me, this has got me excited for what is coming up in the game. So, I don't normally do these sort of trailer reaction type videos, but I was watching this and I just thought, whoa, look at that. <laughs> I wanted just to talk about some of the new things that are coming because I do love, love, love Astroneer. I really do. And... I've been missing doing the videos on my channel because, you know, I've been waiting for new content, new things to be added. I don't want to burn myself out on the game. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Ah! And I've been waiting to see what's been coming out soon. And wow, the 1.0 looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. So this is the trailer that we've just been watching that I've been talking all over the top of. It hasn't finished yet. There is lots of new stuff. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh my goodness me! Ah, the bright light at the end. So, let's go back to the beginning. And let's start this again. And we can stop at a few places and uh, see what we can see. So, first of all... Anything new here? Anything new here that you see? Well, I've got a funky tool where I can do this. Look at that thing there. So we recognize this part at the end here, don't we? That is something that we've seen. That is where you launch off from at the beginning of a game. But is it now flyable? I don't know. If it is, that would be fantastic. If you want, I've got to be honest. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to make this. I don't think you will. Uh, we've seen this sort of thing before. Um, but if you could make that and fly between planets, I mean, that would just be fantastic. But judging by what else is in the trailer, I'm not sure you're going to need this um, to fly between planets. Also worth noting on here how many gaps there are for uh, these little shuttles. Look, we've got one, two. Let me get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus another seven. That's 14 spots on there. So I reckon the new update that's going to be coming out that's going to add multiplayer is going to have space for at least 14. Is that more in there? No, I think that's just some sort of gazing with my eyes. I might have zoomed that a bit in for you to see. I don't think that's the top of those. So it looks like 14 players. I mean, that, that may change. That just me surmising from this video. But we've got seven there and another one. Two, three, four, five, six, another seven there. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, hang on. I've got to do it one at a time. There probably is a button to undo the whole lot, but there we go. Right, let's let's continue on and see what we see next. And there's a big thing coming up here in a second. There we go. So heading towards the planet. There we go. I love that view. I've got to just say, that really suddenly adds an epicness to the planet. Now... I don't know about you, but the planets have never sort of felt that big. The fact that you can go around them reasonably quickly. But to me, this suddenly makes this seem absolutely massive. Because if you've got the little guy on there that's going to go down and land, and in sudden, I don't know, the scale, whether the planets are now bigger or not, is it just in my mind? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking that the scale of the planets has got bigger. Let's... Let's see, I suppose. Let's see. So now we're coming in. There we go. Look, we can see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we've got seven and seven definitely on there. And we've got something new coming up. Now, keep your eyes peeled. Did you spot it? Were you too busy watching these things landing over there? Can you see it now? I bet you can. Oh my goodness me, what the heck is that? <laughs> That looks absolutely fantastic. That, to me, looks like a black hole. That You know, when we're talking about space and stuff, black holes, that, to me, looks like it's a black hole. Um, I jokingly said earlier on on the astrono uh, astronauts, astroneer uh, discord we've got for creators, content creators, that, you know, you know when your trucks like, disappear under the ground, you log in and your truck just disappeared. That's where they go. They all go to the black hole up there. Just an inside joke. But anyway, look at that. So we've got some sort of black hole thing that's, um, what's it going to do? Is it somewhere to go? Is it going to affect the planet? 
Maybe it's affecting the planet because in a minute we're going to see something else. We'll, we'll come back to that. But yeah, new new planet, new black hole planet. New, well, planet wouldn't be a black hole, but you know what I mean. New location to go to. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe we shall see. Right, let's uh, let's continue on. Going to go and land on the planet. Look at that though. Looks cool. I do like the look of that. It looks to me definitely like a black hole with the sort of black ring around it where it's extra dark, dark in the middle. Mmm, nice purpley hues for it as well. Gotta like a bit of black and purple. Okay, right, so we're gonna sort of go through this a bit at a time. Uh, nothing new that I can spot on here. I've like checked all the slots on his backpack and all that sort of thing. I'm really trying to keep my eye out for anything new anywhere. This all just looks pretty standard to me. But then as we get a little bit further, we are going to start seeing some new things that I don't want to miss. So, yeah, all of this. We've got all of this stuff. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've managed to pause it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Flying out of the sky. Let's actually play it at normal speed, and then we'll go back. <sighs> Look at that. So if we go back, and then what we'll do is we'll go into our settings, and we'll do quarter speed. Watch this thing. Here it comes. So that is like a meteor sort of thing. It didn't really do much damage to the ground, but it's certainly not the player, didn't it? Let's watch that again. Here he goes. See, so watch where he's running. Oh, it did destroy the... Yeah, it did destroy the, the flower behind. Look at this flower here. It must literally come past that. Yeah, look. Oh, it did, yeah, and it landed down here a bit. So, but that is pretty cool. Let's, oh, I'll try, I meant to, yeah, there it is. It's landed here. Deform the ground a little bit. Let's just try and pause it on the thing again. So that's a new hazard to watch out for, and there's probably not much you can do. There it is. Yeah, it's whacked the flower right on the top. What a shot. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen if one of those hits you bang on, but. That looks pretty nasty. Is it going to contain anything inside? We don't know. I guess we're going to find out. So, here we go. A new design, a new hazard to look out for. Oh, let's go back to normal speed. Let's not watch the whole thing at quarter speed. Let's go back to normal. Okay, here we go. Now, here's something else as well. Have you ever been to a planet where the ravine is this deep? Mm, I mean, that must go all the way down to the floor down there. I've never seen terrain like that on a planet. And it doesn't look to me like it's been dug out. That looks to me like that is terrain formed on a planet. That is fantastic. I mean, you can start building in the... As soon as I saw that, I thought you could have a base there. You could, like, build... You could dig out a section sort of in the wall like that and another floor there and another floor there. You could do something over here. Floor, floor, floor. You could have it spread out all the way along. I thought that just looked absolutely great. And then I watched the rest of the trailer and I thought, oh, someone else has had a similar idea. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good. I like that. And the fact you've got to jump over it. Let's go back to... Uh... Oh, if you're wondering how I'm drawing on the screen, by the way, it's a, a program called Epic Pen. It's free, so... You can go and get that yourself if you want. But yeah, I like the fact that you've got to jump over it. We can jump over it. Right, so what do we see here? Anything new in this screen? I don't believe there's anything new here. We've seen all of these storages before. Uh, the planet, all that sort of thing. But as we move on, we are going to see something different. So th this is just a showcase, I think, of all the different colours. Someone's obviously just like pillared up. Collected all the different colours and just pillared up. And done a nice different sort of colour wall thing going on there. So we can do that at the moment. Hopefully they fix a few of the quirks and things with the with the colours and the tools that you can use for those. But I'm sure they will. All right, let's move on. So digging underground. Okay, so here we go. Here's the floors that I was talking about. So let's maybe just do this at half speed. There we go. Let's go back a little bit. So make it a bit easier. So we've we've seen these trucks. They've got three seaters on the front. We've seen all of those. A new little buggy there. We've seen these making the hydrazine fuel. Yep, that's fine. And we've seen all of this as well. So they're smelting stuff up. Got some building things there. Yeah, that's fine. And we've seen this. They're all doing their research. But I like this. Sort of built into the cave wall. A different level for different things. That's quite cool. Not quite sure what that round thing is there. I don't know whether that's a weird different type of research on its side or something you can't quite see can you whether it's a battery on its side but that to me got to use the purple thing the pink thing that to me looks a bit odd what do you, is, is that something we've seen before i don't know anyway you can let me know 
in the comments, but I don't think so. I mean, that to me, I don't remember seeing anything you could put on its side with a circle like that. Mm. But anyway, there we go. Maybe something new there. Let's. Go. I mean, I know we've got the batteries, but you can't normally put them on the side, can you? So, mm -hmm. let's continue on. Oh, we're still at half speed. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll keep it at half speed anyway. Look. So, yeah, we've seen this before with these spiky, what are like spiky balls of doom? We've seen those, haven't we? Now we're coming to some good stuff. Right, now this, to me, looks like an entirely different structure from the beginning. Well, it is an entirely different structure. Remember we counted how many slots there were on the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one there, nine. I reckon there's another one on the top there, ten. Double that for the other side, and suddenly you've got 20. So do we now have 20 players that can come and play on multiplayer? Is it different size servers? So the first one was, what did we say, 14, and this one's 20? That would make sense. But this is a different structure. It's, it's, very, it's small. It looks to me just like a circle, and then this bit through the middle here, like that, and that's a circle that goes around like that. Is this something we can build to then have extra people come to our world? I don't know, but there we go. So that looks to me like that's pretty much saying we can have 20 people in a game, at least, perhaps. I don't know. They've been working on the server stuff, and I'd love to get a server going. Um, game servers is one of the things that I offer to my patrons, if you fancy supporting me on Patreon, which enables me to do YouTube. There's lots of rewards for you. One of the things is game servers, and with Astroneer coming out in multiplayer, I will be running an Astroneer server for people. So, or maybe a couple. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, that looks exciting. So there's that. Anyway, so 20-odd players on a server. Could be cool. Let's continue on. Oh, I need to put that back to a cursor. Okay, so this poor guy is about to get eaten by that thing up there. Right, so what do we see in here? There's lots going on here. So we've got the, the normal big storages up here, and they've sort of done a similar thing to what I do. And it looks like they've just managed to put a big square piece of land up there. That's all I think that is. And then they put the large storages on with... You know, the different minerals and things, organic and whatnot on there. But I have noticed the very nice flat land. Now, flat land is one of the hard things to do um, in the game. And it's something I've really wanted them to sort of get on top of and sort out. So we can do things like this. If you want to have a room that's perfectly flat. And it looks like maybe they've been working on that. Now, what are these things over here? I don't know what they are. They look very small. I mean, I'll try and sort of zoom in on that. That's probably made it even harder to see. <laughs> but yeah, what are they? I don't know. And then if we look over here, I, see that to me looks... That's like the storage on the side, but I don't recognise that. Those shapes there. Uh, we've got some drills going on. Those wheels look a bit different, or is it just like the distance? This is all normal, the large storages with the lights and the batteries, and that's the extra large storage up there. And this is just a low... Well, look at all these... Whoa, I've just realised what these are. These are flipping landing pods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to make that thing smaller. Eight, nine... Let's do it on there. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, my eyesight. 15. There's like a gap there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 on there. There we go. Terrible writing with my mouse. And they've got these little landing pads. Well, that is good. So they're not just going to randomly land anywhere. You can make a landing pad for them to go on this thing along here. Ah, I'm liking that. So there we go. That's the 20 again. So maybe there isn't a gap there. It's just this gap between the, the landing pads. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. We've worked it out. There's 20 landing pads on there. I still don't know what these little things are. That might just be the connectors like we've got coming out the back here. Going down to things. Maybe that's what that is. But I think that's everything new on there. Those wheels, that might just be me looking at it funny. I don't know. But that looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. Let's clear the screen. There we go. Right. So there's a lot there. And there's even more. Let's carry on. Okay, this guy's about... This guy, is that the same guy that got eaten before? He's now jumping into the... Well, he wasn't jumping into it, he was jumping behind it. 
So researching things, I don't think there's anything new on here. He's about to blow that up. There we go. Well done. Lose your research. A nice red planet. Liking the colours. Actually, let's just go back there a sec. Oh, no, that's just a, like a crash satellite thing. There we go. Someone's been busy making walls. Like the stripey effect on here. Interesting. It's like a jump. You could drive your car up there and jump. No more fractured planets. I, I did wonder, actually, after seeing the black hole, whether the fractured planets, they've, they've gone like, we keep having fractured planets. We're trying to fix it. We're trying to fix it. That's what they say. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And suddenly thought, why don't we just put a black hole in space? And then if we get a fractured planet, then people, will, it'll be like, okay, because it's like, we'll blame the black hole breaking up the planets. That's what's going on there. Was, well, maybe not that, but anyway. <laughs> Whoops. Let's, uh, let's, let's continue on. There we go. Okay, next screen coming up, some cool stuff. Oh my goodness me. There is a lot going on here. Before we run the video too far forward, let's take a look at this over here. So we've got a landing pad on here. Here we go. So we've got like an arm that comes out there, an arm that comes out there. We've got this big thing in the middle. And I reckon these little side landing pads are for the little, uh, the little shuttles that come down that look like this with a door and a little astroneer that pops out and says, hello. Can I come and play on yourself? <laughs> Let's get rid of that quick. So it's like draw my life, draw my astronaut. So yeah, no, that looks really cool. I like this. We move all of my rubbish off there. So that looks good. A permanent landing place. Uh, we've also got this here. What is that? Am I am I mad or have I not seen? It's like a strut or something. I don't think I've seen that one before. And that looks like a crane rather than a drill. Some of these things may actually be in the game. You might be going, no, we've seen those. There's like a house. If these symbols are in the game already and I've just missed them, if there's been like a couple of little tweaky updates that I've missed where they've added in like a little picture. But that to me, I don't think I've seen that. Don't think I've seen that or that. So, hmm, interesting. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. What the flopping heck is this great big? Oh, no, I can't do it like that. Let's go back to the cursor. There we go. This great big thing here. Look at it. It's like long. It's round. It's like... Twice the size of the research. It's like a, a tank. Oh, I'm joking. It's this thing here. Look, <laughs> look at it. Massive, gigantic, purple monstrosity in the background. What the heck is that? So what what do you do? Is it somewhere you can go and walk through and go somewhere else? Can you fly through it? Is it some sort of stargate in inverted commas? I don't know. A warp gate or something like that. Quick sip of tea. Mm excitement is it something you find rather than build i would imagine you you find it but what can you do with it where does it take you and what is this thing here we don't this is like double length research this thing down here so that's definitely new research uh, but this guy is looking at it going flipping it look at that look he's like going beep, 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 beep. wow he's so excited about seeing that but good grief so there's this big thing that we're going to be finding uh, that, to me, looks new as well. This one down here, that's a symbol I haven't seen before. So is that another research thing? Maybe, maybe. But I think, I think that's all the new things in there. But look at that. Is that a gate? I mean, it looks to me. Let's just go back and... I mean, it's not moving. The lights are sort of moving up and down. It's not shimmering or changing or what I would sort of imagine a stargate would be. I don't know whether you sort of turn it on and then all the lights come down and form this stuff in the middle. Oh, there we go. Look, that bit's come on there. Look. And that's moving. Ah, oh, now these sides are looking more like a gate. There's a gate there. There's a gate there. Uh, judging on the shape, there's another gate at the back. Is that three gates around there? Maybe, I think so, because these sort of bits come along here and look blank. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Is that forming in the middle? Oh, is that getting bigger? Oh, I don't know. Let's just watch that again. It looks like this is lighting up a bit. But anyway, that looks like there's three gates or something there. And here we go, Astroneer. And look at this as well. Watch watch this around here. This is kind of sort of warping around the sides. You see it? Look there. So that's sort of given us a clue, I reckon, to warping space and heading off to other places. So is it the way to head off to other galaxies? I don't know. 
I don't know. Linking different galaxies together. So we've got more than the basic planets. And then this little ending here. What has he found? Another day caving. At half their normal speed. And then suddenly, round the corner. The purple lights. <gasps> what is it? But look at his, look at the ref reflection. Let's go back here. The reflection in there is like of space. So, whether it's always, is it, it's probably always like that. Am I reading too much into it? <laughs> Are they looking into a black hole that's showing them space? I don't know. What have they found? A new power source for the new gates? Who knows? Who knows? But I am pretty excited about that. That is that is looking to me like there's some fantastic stuff, a sort of a story mode that's been added. All sorts of stuff going on in that trailer there. Let's just watch it at normal speed one more time. So what do you think? What are you most excited for? I'm, I mean, I'm pretty excited for the multiplayer aspect. I'd love to get it on and get my patrons onto a server or two. And if it's possible to have up to 20 people... I mean, that would just be great. But yeah, that other structure was definitely different from this one. Because you can see the bits in the middle here. It's got this massive big long bit there. Definitely different. So, and that black hole. So you've got the black hole. You've also got the gates, the warp gates, star gates, whatever they are. And then the bright light underground purple thing. Whether that's the center of the planet or what, I don't know. New disasters, new terrain, new items to build. A fantastic trailer, I have to say. Whoever put the trailer together, you've done a fantastic job. But this has re renewed my excitement again, especially seeing this. Oh, there's another new thing. Yeah, these are definitely new things. They're filling these with new things. Look, that one there. That one there is a new one as well. Definitely, I've not seen that before. So I reckon there's one, two, three, four, five. That's new. Yeah, four, five, six new building things. That's definitely new. Yeah, there's lots of new stuff going on there. You cheeky so-and-sos. You're sneaking it in all over the place. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments below. So if you want to see more Astroneer, hit the big B with the tea stain. I always have everything new in all the new update videos. Covering everything when the new update comes out. So check that out. And we normally have a Let's Play going on as well. So don't miss that. And let me know below what you're most excited about. So I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Leave a like before you go. Take care. Bye-bye.